What we are looking at here is a cloud security management dashboard within Tripwire Enterprise. Here you can see we have a dashboard set up in a pretty standard security operation style configuration, showing us items of interest such as changes to our virtual cloud infrastructure as well as the overall security configuration of both our cloud assets and cloud management console. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will focus within an Amazon Web Services environment However, similar controls can also be applied to Microsoft Azure as well. Looking at our dashboard, we can see the reports along the top are indicating that we have been experiencing some high priority changes to the identity and access management settings of our Amazon Web Services console. And by drilling down into this report, we can easily identify the console instance experiencing change and even view contextual information on the specifics of the change. For example, we can see where the settings for lowercase characters has been set to false, significantly reducing the password complexity requirements needed to access our cloud infrastructure. In addition to monitoring the integrity of a cloud management console, Tripwire can also assess the configuration state and compare that configuration to the Center for Internet Security's Web Services foundational controls. For example, Along the bottom half of our dashboard, we can see the CIS security results for both our cloud assets as well as our cloud management console. And if we venture into these reports, we can view a security breakdown of our overall security posture. In this example, we can see the many subsections descending from CIS's overarching benchmark, the number of passed and failed tests for each subsection as well as our overall compliancy. Let's say we want to improve our security configuration. We can easily come into our list of failures and get a detailed breakdown of the failures in our environment. In this example, we can see for CIS's subsection 1.2, console users must have multi-factor authentication enabled. You can see the result of our test. Here it is set to false, resulting in a failure, and we even provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to remediate this failure and enforce the configuration requirement. Now, monitoring for configuration and integrity is only one side of an organization's evolution into the cloud. With cloud environments, there's an entirely new dynamic that needs to be addressed as the migration from on-premise and data center assets into the cloud atmosphere occurs, and that is elastic computing. Tripwire has taken this journey with our customers into the cloud to specifically address these concerns, and you can now apply the same robust controls to your elastic environment that you would in a traditional data center. Let's take a look at how our elastic capability works to manage your cloud assets. Here we are in the Tripwire Enterprise Nodes Manager. Think of this as the asset management console for your Tripwire deployment. Along the left, you can see several groups for our various assets. In the main pane, we can see where we have onboarded and begun the monitoring of two static assets. Now here's the key question. How can we monitor an elastic system as it is brought online, ensure that no critical security events occur, and that the cloud asset matches our configuration standards during its life cycle, but then also how do we handle the decommissioning of that elastic asset at the end of its life cycle? There are two challenges here. One is billing and one is technical. From a billing perspective, it's simple. We simply charge based on usage. You only pay for the time that asset is online and being monitored by Tripwire Enterprise. From a technical perspective, Tripwire can handle all the provisioning and deprovisioning of your elastic assets within Tripwire Enterprise. Let's look at this capability in action. In this example, I'm going to launch a new EC2 Linux instance within Amazon. First, let's move into my unprocessed Linux group. Now, coming into my Amazon EC2 console, I'm going to launch a new cloud instance. Shortly, once that system is fully launched, the Tripwire agent service will automatically register with the Tripwire console and will automatically show up in our unprocessed group. Okay, 
Now that the system has been discovered by Tripwire, we can automatically enable Tripwire's real-time monitoring capability and then begin a discovery process by executing rules against the asset that identifies things such as the operating system type, running processes, installed applications, etc. We then use this information to baseline a set of specific configuration management policies and integrity monitoring rule sets to this asset. And finally, place the asset into a group for ongoing monitoring. Without going too far off subject, if you happen to have Tripwire IP360 for vulnerability management, we can also begin a vulnerability scan of the new asset following the baseline process. So to restate what happened here, we onboarded a new system. We identified a specific security configuration and integrity rule set to apply. We enabled real-time monitoring. Reports will now include the new asset, conducted an automated vulnerability scan, and all we had to do was turn on the system, which can be automatic with elastic environments. Offboarding is hands-off as well. Let's terminate this instance to see how it works. Now that the system is offline, we can work with you to decide the offboarding logic. Maybe you want to send all lifecycle data to an information and event management system and delete the asset. Perhaps you would like to simply remove the license and keep the node representation and all its historical data in a decommissioned group within Tripwire Enterprise. Or maybe just generate a configuration report and store it on the file system. In this example, Tripwire Enterprise has been configured to simply delete the node 15 minutes after that asset has gone offline. Here you can see this asset is now flagged for decommissioning. And again, we are only billed for the time that system is monitored within Tripwire. Thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed today's demo of Tripwire Enterprise's cloud security management capability.